part I helped com. How's everybody doing? Here it is, winner of the week, and it pretty much came down as I predicted that it would, and it pretty much came down that way. Lots and lots and lots of people, at least on my site, were on the New England Patriots tonight, and that just didn't happen. Going to be interesting to see now how the Saints do, because that was like their Super Bowls. They're let down next week. We shall see. Five handicappers ended up in the positive. The updates to the website are pretty much, for the most part, 90% done. Um, there's a couple of links i got to put back in. I apologize to VIP Handicapper Pain Insider and um, to our friends over at EasyCapper.com. Uh, it was pointed out to me, now I run a Mac, which most of you guys know. It was working fine in Safari, but it was pointed out to me in Internet Explorer 7 and 8, and sometimes in 6, all the, the little logos weren't showing up, so they're all there now. I, I put Windows 7, which is the latest and greatest, on my Mac. I can dual boot it, and... Um, our banner is now where it should be. Thanks again to our friends over at easyhandicapper.com. Head on over and see Jim if you need a website. Your sports handicapper sets everything up, takes care of the hosting. Really nice guy, good guy, will help you out. Mentioned part of help to him. Maybe you can knock a few bucks off there. I'm not, don't hold me to that, but he might be able to work with you a little bit. So thanks to him for uh, updating the banner and getting it set. All our banners are there now. Our VIP banners are there. The easy capper banner is there as well as the couple of links to people we lick to uh, predict them that will be back tomorrow and uh, for the most part it's all pretty much there so who did what and where are we at this particular week well let's see there's a couple of guys who finished up on a positive note and i want to point them out college better ended up on the week 14 and 10 plus 180 dimes nice to see him on the positive side good job Joker's Wild Sports ended up 12 and 8 plus 28 dimes on the week. Payne Insider had a nice week for himself, 8 and 6 plus 77 dimes. However, the one I thought was going to win, winning percentage winner of the week, Mick from Top Shelf Chicago. It'll be nice to see Mick's banner above me. It'll start next week. It'll be there all week long. He is our winning percentage winner of the week. We will see if he has some sort of special. And our bankroll winner of the week, how about these guys? 12 and 7 plus 5,629 bucks on the week. Nice job. We will see if they have a special. Both those banners will be above me all week. Email address is john at parlayhelp.com or info at parlayhelp.com. The other address is private. It's for picks only. We don't want spam. And uh, I got some user feedback, and it was interesting. Um, they were saying, basically, in so many words, that, you know, this once a day and only one day a week off, maybe not the best thing in the world. So, starting next week, I'm going to bend the rules or change the rules just a little bit. You need to play six to eight games a week. You can take two days a week off. If you don't like a game, you know what? I shouldn't force you to have to put five dimes or five units or one unit on a play if you don't like it. There's a seven-day week. You need to send plays at least five days a week. And the way Saturdays and Sundays bend, sending two to get you up to six is not going to be a problem whatsoever. So we're going to bend it a little bit there and just go from there for winner of the week from this point forward. Didn't really come into effect this week. But it has in the past. I just wanted to point that out. Charts are underneath me. The NBA chart is underneath me. Hopefully the website looks okay. One more update we're going to do tonight after this video. God help us. I hope it's okay in the morning. We'll see. There is a um, a WordPress update that needs to get done. And I'm going to make sure I take care of it. We'll back up first and then make sure I take care of that. You should back up too. When you watch this one of the week video, our most popular video, you should actually turn around while you're watching it and set up a little script and back up your computer. It's very, very important. Uh, items of note for the NBA. Joker's Wild Sports is 14 and 11 plus 56 dimes, doing quite well. Pete James of Parley Pete Sports is breaking the plus side at 10 and 8. The number one NBA handicapper right now is Mr. Payne Insider, VIP handicapper, is 9 and 2 plus 145 dimes. Now, 9 and 2, it's not a lot of plays. Well, that might be the reason he's 9 and 2 right now. But he's doing quite well. And our, both VIP handicappers doing well in the NBA. Primetime Sports Advisors, 2115 plus 112.5 units. So there it is. There's your report. At some point this week, the new microphone will be set up. New studio is probably going to wait for another week or two. I'm, I'm looking at these LED lights to try and make it a little brighter. Not that I'm not ugly enough, but... We'll see what happens. The camera's coming this week, the high-def cam. I'll let you know about it. It is the Sony Webby. It's not expensive. It's under 150 bucks for a high-definition camera. Really going to be curious how these videos look. And then lights and probably a change to the curtain as it's well overdue in its point in time. And um, 
actually have the ability now to hook into the television and maybe, I don't know, we can stand in front, we'll go through the whole thing when it happens. Little by little, we're going to start to do it. We are the number one sports handicapper on the internet. Oh, question. Would you like an NF? try it again, NHL only handicapper? Got a couple of emails from a couple of different people. One guy does NHL only. Would you be interested in NHL only picks? Picks four to six games a week, something like that. Yes? No? Maybe? Info, parlayhelp.com, or me personally, John, at parlayhelp.com. We'll see everyone Tuesday night when all the games are over. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Hope you had a great weekend. We get back at it tomorrow night. Brand new week, brand new start. Everybody starts over. We shall see. See everybody tomorrow night after all the games are over.